Inside Out 2. Now, this was a movie that I was highly anticipating at the beginning of the year. I think a lot of people were. We didn't really know to the extent how much anticipation there was. I mean, we suspected there was a lot. But earlier this year, we were having conversations. The box office is dying. The box office isn't doing anything. We had uh, Furiosa, which made almost near nothing in the box office. And then we had Bad Boys, which kind of brought some more life into the box office. Well. You want to talk about life in the box office, Zach? How much <laughs> money did you think Inside Out Two was going to make? Be honest. How much did you think it was going to do on its opening weekend? Eighty million. Eighty million. Yeah. I mean, the projections were, I believe, fifty to sixty, and then I think they upped it to eighty. Now, I believed in the hundred million. I believed okay. it could be big. I thought that you know, kids have grown up with it. People uh, uh, love it. I, I, I thought that it was one of the more beloved Pixar movies in the last decade. I had real faith in it, but I did not have a hundred and fifty five million <laughs> opening weekend faith in it. No. Uh, wow. This came to us from Variety. And this is what Inside Out 2 did over its first weekend. It was the biggest opening of the year, overtaking Doom Part 2 with 82.5 million and Godzilla X Kong with 80 million. It's the only release of 2024 and the first since last July's Barbie to launch above 100 million. Second largest animated debut of all time behind all 2018's time. Pixar sequel Incredibles 2, 182 million, which I forgot how big that movie was. Holy That's crap. crazy. That's huge. Uh, the second biggest start in Pixar. Or yeah, the second biggest start in Pixar history ahead of 2016's Finding Dory, 135 million, and 2019's Toy Story 4, which I'm surprised it beat Toy Story 4. Uh, yeah. and only behind 2018's Incredibles 2. It's the fourth best opening for a PG movie after 2019's The Lion King, Incredibles 2, and Beauty and the Beast. Disney is just beating itself in records with this thing. Yeah. It did monstrous at the box office it says uh, on variety says to go on a uh, uh, anxiety to the rescue disney and pixar's inside out 2 an animated adventure that spotlights apprehension among other emotions scored the biggest box office debut of the year with 155 million domestically and 295 million globally it's a huge win for theaters and for Pixar, struggled, uh, and Pixar has struggled to restore its box office touch since COVID. Uh, those results far exceeded expectations and notched several opening weekend records in the process. Zach, yeah. people are Pixar inside out too crazy. Yeah. Why, man. why do you think this movie hit so hard with people? When we were when we were just talking, not even a month ago. We were talking a month ago. People don't want to go to the movies. The movie yeah. theaters are losing money. They're not doing well. Movies aren't doing well this year. Why did Inside Out 2 turn those tides so extremely? I think the release date is a big part of why this movie is doing so well. Um, a lot of kids are getting out of school at this time, so it's not hard for parents to get the kids to the theater. And I think that the gap between Inside Out 1 and 2 helped a lot. Um, we haven't had a film to replicate that feeling. Like for me, I didn't see Inside Out when it came out uh, originally. I actually saw it the week I saw Inside Out 2 in preparation. I was like, wow, this movie's great. So everyone has that on their mind. Like, oh my God, the movie's great. We're getting the second one. And now everybody's ready to go check that out. And I think combination of the everybody's coming out of school, us not really having any big hits lately that is for everyone, right? Kingdom Planet 8 is not for everyone. Furiosa wasn't for everyone. Even Dune Part 2 is not for everyone. Godzilla X Kong is not for everyone. But Inside Out 2, Pixar, and the way the film is, it doesn't matter what your race, religion, uh, your political leaning, this movie is for everybody. And I see people, my friends, that don't go to the movie theaters and wait for everything with streaming was saying, yo, Inside Out 2 was great they went to the theaters to go check it out so i think that plus bad boys bringing some people back to the theaters and then they That's go to act the next the people, week uh above the age of uh like 40 i think or 30 and 40 i think really went out to bad boys i think was the statistics on that yeah and a lot of the conversation i've been seeing about box office talkers is that a lot of the box office was powered in the past by older people but because yeah. of COVID, they stopped going and they haven't been feeling safe to go back yet. And I think that 
that's also like the landing point. Like people, older people above 40, 60, 50, 60, those people that go to the movie theater every week are now started to slowly come back to the theater because COVID is not as big of a threat as it used to be. So I think it was a combination yeah. of that. Uh, people were foaming at the mouth for Pixar to get theatrical releases after everything dropping on Disney Plus. And you're mm -hmm. like, you're watching Turn Red. I know it has mixed, but a lot of people love that film. A lot of people love Luca. A lot of people love Soul. And it was, and then they released those films in theaters early this year. So people right. went to go check them out, saw the magic, and was like, "Yo, we gotta check out Inside Out." Too. I mean, I mean, let's not act like those blew yeah. up the box office when no, they got no, re-released. No, no. <laughs> no, Some no. people didn't even know they came out in yeah. theaters again. <laughs> top ten, though, they made a top ten. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But you know, like we were talking about before, the box office wasn't that great <laughs> when they came not out. Great when re-releases make it a top ten. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it's a combination of all those things because it's not even word of mouth. The word of mouth is happening now, so we'll see mm. like how it drops, which I'm pretty sure it's not going to drop too high because it's just at a historical Tuesday that I, I heard. Um, so it's not going to drop too hard following week, and then Bike Riders is coming out this week. That's not going to do anything. Really oh yeah, take the kids week. to that. <laughs> <laughs> Skip inside out too. We got to go see the <laughs> Bike Riders. Tom Hardy and Austin Butler and gangs. Let's do this. Non movie stars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I think a combination of all those things, like people wanted a new Pixar hit in the theaters, perfect time with school going and out, and people like the little kids be able to go to the theaters with their parents. And um, yeah, it's summertime, people wanted to go to the movies and watch something that was real fun for everyone. Yeah, no, I, I agree with a lot of your points there, especially uh, when you're talking about like people who went to Bad Boys for the first time coming back to the theaters. Uh, you know, Bad Boys was. An enjoyable time for a lot of people i didn't i didn't love it as much as some people did but there were cr well not crowds but <laughs> there were uh, dozens Ooh. of people in my theater that yeah. were laughing and having a great time throughout the entire thing and when you have a good time at the movie theaters you want to come back to the movie theaters and i think bad boys did that for quite a bit of people and my theater may not have been packed but that thing did really well on its opening weekend and had a really good second weekend as well yes so people are going to bad boys and they're having a good time at the theater they want to bring their kids and i think something that you also kind of touched upon but didn't fully say we haven't really had a kids movie this entire year i mean we had garfield come out during uh like last and month and if but but if at the same time was a unknown ip mm -hmm. uh i don't think it was in my opinion, marketed that well to the point where parents wanted to take the kids to see it necessarily. Mm -hmm. I heard it was a wonderful movie. I haven't seen it myself, but I haven't seen it yet either. Yeah. yeah. So I can't speak to the quality of the movie. I thought it looked enjoyable, but um, yeah, if wasn't really something that I think we're on a lot of parents and kids radars, but going back to this being nine years old since the first one, kids who were nine are now 18 kids who were three. Oh, why I do that to myself are now 12. <laughs> right so people growing up with inside out this and and inside out much like toy story when i say that this is pixar's next toy story like you said everyone can relate to it it is so relatable and the jokes in the trailer were funny mm -hmm. they were yes. really good the marketing on inside out had been really incredible and i think that you know when you look at the landscape of what we'd had you know, we had a lot of horror come out earlier this year. We've had a mm -hmm. couple action. We, we, I would say we've had niche films. Lisa Frankenstein. Uh, they were the very, Broadway very dolls. niche films. Yeah, not yeah, not huge, um, crowd pleasing, uh, general audience movie going type movies. And I think this is the first one, especially of the summer, that people are recognizing. People have fond memories of the first one. They have kids. Their kids have grown up. Maybe their kids have kids. Um, so. Yeah, parents, grandparents, kids are going out to this thing, and it absolutely, it is absolutely crushed. Now, the, the question now goes to how big is this thing going to go? Because they announced a couple weeks ago that they are not rushing this thing to Disney Plus, and that was my first sign that this was going to be a, a potentially great movie because Disney knew what they had and they weren't yeah. going to do the standard 45 day thing. This is in theaters for 100 days, yep. like this is staying in theaters the entire summer. So kids yeah. who can't get into that R-rated movie because their parents won't let them go to Deadpool and Wolverine, they can take them to Inside Out 2. Inside Out 2 is going to be playing the entire... So how big do you think this thing is going to be? I think that it's going to dominate until Quiet Place Day 1. I think that movie will start off really well, and then that will be the first time it drops to number 2, but not, not a huge drop, because I don't think Quiet Place is going to do 
crazy numbers. And then I think it's going to do really, really well until Deadpool and Wolverine comes out. That's when um, a lot of people will start shifting their focus over to that film. And a lot of the adults will stop, leave, leave their kids at home to go watch that film. So I think this movie is going to be the first billion dollar movie of the year. I think it's going to have strong, agree with you. strong, strong holds as they go. More kids are going to be out of school because I just realized not every kid is out of school just yet. And I think that the more kids that get out of school, the more time they don't have no summer school. Hopefully they'll be in there. You know, it's hot. You don't want to go on the beach. It's going to be 98 degrees in New York and these other places. Let's go in the movie theaters where it's cool. Let's watch a funny movie and take our asses home. Um, so I think that. <laughs> <laughs> with with like bike riders not being very big competition. And then I think the following week, I don't, is it Quiet Place? I don't think it's Quiet Place to follow. Quiet Place is the 28th. So yeah, yeah. So that's, that's further down. So, oh no, no, that is the following week. Quiet yeah. Place is going to be the following week. But I really don't think Quiet Place Day 1 is going to be the biggest competition because those movies don't do amazing at the box office. The, they're not like $150 million kind of movies. So yeah, I think it will be more eat into bad boys. A little bit more than it'll eat into uh, uh, Inside Out 2. So I think this movie is going to make a billion dollars. I think it's going to do like 40 to 30% holds each week and just do banger numbers. I agree with you in some of those aspects too, because when you when you look at like when you're saying Deadpool and Wolverine and even Quiet Place is going to kind of eat into it, I really don't think so because I think that they're playing to different audiences. I think mm -hmm. the not to like you know be stereotypical, but I think the the moms will send the dads to go see you know go see Quiet Quiet Place, go see uh, Deadpool. I'm going to take the kids and what's playing? Oh, Inside Out Two's playing. I'm going to go. I think when their box office will start to be eaten up just a little bit more is the Will me four. Mm, oh yeah, that that's gonna come out. I think Another July. Dollar and, movie. Yeah, but I think until July, I think until that Will me four comes out, I think this is it. I think this is dominating kids' entertainment in theaters. Yeah, and, and there's yeah. nothing on streaming to distract them. That's another thing. I feel like yeah. a lot of the biggest streaming stuff that's coming out: Acolyte, Boys, House of Dragon. These are all non kid shows. Maybe Hopefully Acolyte kids aren't watching the. Boys. Yeah, hopefully, most <laughs> likely they are. <laughs> I was cool. watching stuff like this. They're, they're over at a friend's house, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're just watching, you know, yeah. the act you know, unsupervised. <laughs> <laughs> but like, there's not a lot. There's no big kid thing on TV right now to 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 say. Like, I want to stay home. They if they're gonna go to the theater to watch Inside Out too, and they might watch If and Garfield too. Those movies are doing okay, so you know. Yeah. But I, I just I see this thing having legs. I think it's gonna do great. I think yeah. I think it ends its run. I think it is going to be the second biggest of the year. I think Deadpool Wolverine is going to beat it. Okay. And I think Deadpool Wolverine will have like a 1.5, 1.6 total. And I think this is going to end its run at 1.3, 1.4. That's fair. I think that's really, really fair numbers. I don't think they're going to go too crazy, get to like Avatar range or even like Endgame yeah. range. But I do think they can get over a billion dollars. I think they're going to hold really well. I'm cautiously optimistic about Deadpool and Wolverine. I feel like the marketing has been really like, oh, Deadpool and Wolverine, but not the story. So I'm hoping that it delivers on the story that people will want to keep going and watch the movie week to week. But I definitely think it's going to make an auto billion dollars because if Deadpool 1 and 2 made seven, 800 million, now you're bringing a character in the MCU, you bring a Hugh Jackman in, that's billion dollars right there. Yeah. That's so just I, like I agree with you. Shooting it with adrenaline. <laughs> yeah, shoot with the general. Get so over that agree. finish line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, 1.3, 1.4, and 1.1, 1.2, I think is a really good range for both films. Uh, but I, I, if they don't make a billion dollars, I'll be shocked. You know? Oh, I'm, like, are you talking with Deadpool or Inside Out? Both movies. Like, I, yeah. if they both make it, and Despicable Me 4, like, that, that's the one franchise that's been consistently making a billion dollars. I, I, I think, I think it's really for. Because I don't think it's because Inside Out's doing a hundred days. I think this woman is still doing that standard forty-five, and it comes out a little bit in the middle of summer. So there is going to be mm -hmm. like that dwindling off of kids going back to school a, a month into its release. Um, so I think it probably does one point one, one point two. Yeah, that's what I think. That's, real, that's still real strong. Yeah, I mean we, we need billion it. dollars. There's nothing it. to scoff at, and yeah, the box office. Some billion it. dollar movies, Absolutely. man. Save these theaters. Three billion dollar movies is so much better than. What last year? What we got? Uh, two, maybe Barbie. I think only Barbie. Wasn't it only Barbie? Super Mario Brothers. Oh, Mario. That's right. Yeah, Mario and Barbie. Th those were the two. Oh, and Inside Out Two also beat 
Mario Brothers. So like Mario Brothers had the second biggest opening of all time, and now Insider Two just moved that down. I know Universal's Crazy. like, God damn it! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, Disney. Look, Disney. I think last year Disney came in third place of all the studios. I think Universal won. I, you, yeah. I, I don't know. Was it Warner Brothers won with Barbie? Then it was Universal. And then I think it was Disney. So Disney's having a comeback. They're like coming for it this year. They are going yeah. to be the top box office studio at the end of 2024. Again. Man. Yeah. And hey, after seeing Inside Out 2, so deserved. Well, thank you very much for checking out this clip from our live show that we do every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time called Zach Milne Talks Live. If you like talking movies, if you like talking movie news, why don't you consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave? We do that on this channel all the time. But if you still need some time before you fully commit, you can check out the full video. This clip is from right here, and you can check out another video over here. The subscribe button's right here.